tickets? No, but you're live. <laughs> From off stage. Oh. Hey, thanks for tuning in. I'm Clint O'Connor. I'm here with our music writer, Malcolm X. Abram. Um, you can find his cover story about Wiz Khalifa right now online, ohio.com slash entertainment. It's also the cover story of the Pulse magazine in tomorrow's Beacon Journal. Yep. Uh, Wiz is coming to Blossom next Tuesday. And Malcolm's here to talk about that and a few other uh, music events coming up in the next few days. So uh, you heard Wiz on a call? You were on a conference call, or you? I was. In I was him? on a conference call with uh, Mr. Khalifa. And and uh, you know these 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 young rappers today, even though he's thirty, which is he's thirty one, I think, which is actually kind of old in the rap world. Uh, you know these these dudes today, they are on their stuff. They know their stuff. You know, his, his image is like the laid-back super stoner guy, and he is a laid-back super stoner guy. <laughs> right. But he is a businessman. Like, he knows what he's doing. He is planning ahead. He, most of these dudes make way more money than, than people realize. He's on his sixth or seventh uh, shed tour. That's that's money. Oh, that's big. That's yeah. big money. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he's got his... Weed is uh, weed strain is signature weed strain, which of course he smokes daily, all day, every day, and uh, he's got his crew of young rappers. He's trying to pump up. He he is a businessman. He is a laid back stoner businessman. Excellent, which and, is good for him. And you can catch him uh, next Tuesday at uh, Blossom Music Center, the Decent Exposure. The Decent Exposure. Tour. Yes. Speaking of Blossom, ah. Friday. It's 90s nostalgia, oh, right? Courtesy yes. of Hootie and the Blowfish, <laughs> along with the Bare Naked Ladies. <laughs> and how do you feel about traveling back in time? It's the 25th anniversary of their mega, mega, mega. Yeah, album. that's how old you are. Uh, I mean, I wasn't a huge fan of either of those bands yes. during their initial runs. I have seen the Bare Naked Ladies. I saw the Bare Naked Ladies, I don't know, 2010 maybe, whenever. They toured with a fellow Canadian, Alanis Morissette. And it's a good show, you know, it's a good. They got bouncy tunes. They're peppy dudes. Everybody's having a good time. It's it's, it's a fun show, and uh, I have not, seen, like I said, I have not seen Hootie and the Blowfish, and I'm but I'm sure it's uh, I'm sure it's a show. Excellent. All right. Thank you for that analysis. Uh, <laughs> also, <that> hits. <laughs> also, uh, oh, and also, there's a fundraiser this weekend for the Rubber City Jazz and Blues uh, Festival. Theron Brown. Yeah, that should be a good show. That's got that's got the cats, man. All of, like. M Many of the local cats. You got your uh, Tommy Lehman on trumpet. Trumpet. Probably shouldn't have started this list. <laughs> you got Dan Wilson, Globe Trotting Dan Wilson, back from circling the globe with Christian McBride and uh, Joey D. And he's he's a he's a professional. And uh, who else you got? You got your I think you got Chris Coles, darn fine sax player. It's it's, it's going to be a good night. And it's a build as sort of a, a blues jam off. Kind of thing, so you'll probably know all the songs if you're into jazz and or blues. Uh, it should be a good show. It will be a good show. That's also Friday at, at Blue Jazz uh, in Akron. So yes, yes. Downtown, downtown. downtown with Theron Brown. <laughs> and it rhymes. There you go. And uh, last but not least, I, I neglected to put this uh, in the column, but this is also July 26th, July 27th at the Beachland Ballroom. Is also uh, devotional this week. Um, I haven't been to devotional. I'm not gonna lie. It's been been a while since I've actually been to devotional. But uh, also, if you are if you are a spud, if you're a lifelong spud, it's a good time. They they always have good cover bands. There's always a bunch of random crap <laughs> that spuds love. You know, tapes and little doodads and gigas and whatnot. And uh, then they got the 5K on Sunday, which I have done, which is also fun. People come. At least they did the first couple of years. First year I did it. People came from all over New York. I think there was a dude here from Japan and the East Coast, West Coast, and they had an army of uh, bougie boys marching down the street, which was awesome and creepy, super creepy, but also pretty awesome. That's a good time. So if you're, if you're a Devo fan and still hoping they get into the Rock Hall and yada yada blah blah, <laughs> uh, you know, hit hit one of those or, or both of those. Beachland Ballroom. They got uh, this year. They got uh, Bob One's going to be there. Uh, David Kendrick, who was in the band way back. It's going to be there, and uh, some people I haven't heard of. <laughs> All right. Raffles and junk. It's a good time. Well, on that note, uh, very good. And you can check out Malcolm's uh, cover story and his column, both on Ohio.com slash entertainment, and tomorrow in the Beacon Journal. Thanks for tuning in.